So we'll be using the Coindesk API to get access to the current price of Bitcoin. Let's go over to our source directory and make a new folder. And that folder will be called API. Inside of that folder, we'll make a new file. And that file will be called Bitcoin.js. This will be a really simple function. We'll export a new constant called get Bitcoin price. And that will be an async function. So we'll put the async keywords and then the arrow. And inside of here, we'll say the response is equal to the await and the await keyword simply resolves a promise. And we're able to store that variable inside of res. And we want to fetch the Coindesk API. We can wrap this inside of a try catch. And when we do that, that will allow us to catch any particular errors. And we can simply just log out the error to the console. And our function inside of the try block can return await response.json. That will give us the JSON body of the response. Now we can use this function inside of app.js. So head over to that file and we'll establish some state. That will be the state of our component. And we'll say that the component is either loading or not. We'll set that equal to true because we assume as soon as we start the app, it's going to be loading the data. And we'll also set some Bitcoin info and we'll set that to an empty object. So we'll be potentially exposing these two variables here inside of our render methods. And we can use async component did mount. And when the component has mounted, we can say Bitcoin info is equal to await get Bitcoin price. And you'll notice that VS Code did give me the ability there to automatically import that. But if you didn't get that, you can import it from our API slash Bitcoin. And then we can use this dot set state to set loading equal to false and Bitcoin info equal to the Bitcoin info from the API. After our set state call, after our set state call, we can put a new function and we can just log out this dot state. So save the file and then inside of your React application, open up the developer tools. Inside of the developer tools, we should now have an object. And as you can see, we have the Bitcoin info which is equal to the info from the server and loading equal to false. If we open up Bitcoin info, we can see we've got this BPI and that contains the current price in euros, GBP and USD. In the next video, we'll be looking at using Ionic components to display this on screen. And then shortly after that, we'll look at how to use skeleton UI to display data on screen that doesn't yet exist.